today is 10th, okay? 10th, 8th, 2024. Now, what we are going to do in this in today's lecture is we are talking about how we are when we say performance, keep it in mind. When you are talking in term performance, we are exclusively, exclusively focusing on statement of uh, profit and loss account. Okay, I will use the word statement of profit and loss account. Okay, when you are talking about the performance management, in other words, it is going to be our the income statement. How we are going to categorize and how it is the reflection of the income statement structure very important because just the same structure we are using is some some items will be reflected in the income statement in a particular situation in a particular circumstances when we have to show and where we have to show that's very important till now what we have done when you are talking in terms of statement of profit and loss account till now we have done in this way is it right if you are using the the concept of profit and loss account what we have done, we have taken into consideration sales, is it right? Sales minus here we have most of the time we use the word cost of sales. Okay, you will have gross profit then here there is some, some uh, presentation wise. They will take into consideration administration expenses. Okay, first they will take into administration, then they will take into consideration the selling expenses. We are not going to show each and everything in detail. Okay, we are just making it as an extract of that. Okay, sell. Then we will say, take into consideration the uh, uh, interest expenses. Then we'll take into consideration tax. Is it? In subsequently at the end, what we are doing. We are talking separately, we are showing other comprehensive income and in the end we will have total comprehensive income. Anywhere, any doubt you stop me. Okay, that's very important. Now we are going into uh, the technicalities of the, the technicalities of the uh, first, uh, business reporting. Now when we do the things, what will happen, which items, have till now nothing is there, okay. Till now, there is nothing is there. Till you are going to pay interest. The only thing that comes into our, our new things that we are going to add further at this stage is related to tax, other comprehensive. This is the most critical one. Understand what? And when you are focusing this, focus on this. And I will also make it very, very specific. Uh, high, uh, I will highlight this whenever we are doing which items we have to show here, which items we have to show here. That's very important. Okay, other comprehensive income and normal income. In this, in this case, we have, in this chapter, we are talking about the critically, we are not talking about where, critically discuss and apply reporting items. The, if you are talking from here to here, they will say it is a statement of profit and loss account. Don't get confused the statement of profit and loss account statement of profit and loss account till oci okay once you are using the oci it will become what it will become total comprehensive income okay students will get confused but why we are talking about two things simultaneously no i'm not talking about we are not talking about two things simultaneously we are taking into consideration the complete aspect asset is that what, what are the things we have to take into statement of profit and loss account and OCI. OCI is very, very critical. I am telling you, we they will test us on OCI only. I am telling you very clearly. They will test which items should be in the part of OCI. Discuss your judgments is that in selecting the accounting policy. What will happen? You will have accounting for changes in estimates. We are going to change some estimates. What are the estimates? Immediately, whenever you are talking about the theoretical statement, apply apply it into numbers. Then only you will have very clear clarity. When you are saying estimates, estimates in terms of what? Estimates in terms of IES 16, property, plant and equipment, in terms of life of the asset. Is it right? Life of the asset. Sometimes we will extend the life. Sometimes we will shorten the life. In some cases, what will happen? You will have you will have 
the in terms of depreciation is it right in terms of depreciation whenever we are making changes in the estimates and reflecting corrections is that how you have to correct into prior period previous period errors okay to some extent we have to we can correct the previous period errors in some the what are the clauses which has been attached to make a corrections clauses are very very clearly mentioned this is the second point what is the outline the principle behind the application of accounting policies with respect to what with respect to interim reports is it interim when we do this we are going to work in reference to standards only that's all there is nothing is there we are not doing going to talk about anything else okay now when we further if you are going to this what they say you are talking about presentation of yes tell me please no okay is it presentation of financial statement interim interim report means you are talking about Inti we are talking about unaudited results audited results half yearly results quarterly results is the interior financial reporting those are related to the accounting policies changes in accounting as estimates and errors and most importantly we will talk about discontinued operations yeah what is the discontinued operation see you are working as a see here we are very much focus on only one thing we are talking in terms of a group is that you will have a group you will have different divisions will be there in the group is that you will have a different divisions will be there in the group now what will happen because of some reason there is all both the possibilities way you will have some divisions you will add is it right in some cases you will have some divisions which will drop the things discontinued operation when you are when you are talking about the discontinued operations how we have to treat this transaction this entity this sub entity i will not say entity also i am using words are very clear sub entity how we have to treat the assets and liabilities of a discontinued operations okay we will cover in very short again first second third chapter are the foundations from the fourth chapter we are straight away we are uh, uh, working on the applications as such is that now what are the things basically we are when we do the things see one first one ies one presentation of financial statements you take any any financial report is that the, this consists of four ifrs and ies standards invest the, help the investors to assess the financial performance of the entity what are the things we are going to work out we are talking about a presentation this is a simple one when we say we have to mention every annual report every annual report says that we are preparing the financial statement as per ies 1 whether it is the moment we talking about the listed companies is it right nowadays is it we are talking in terms of listed companies on the stock exchange this is the first thing we will cover it we already we have done conceptual framework all the things it is based on how we are going to make a presentation and preparation and presentation okay the second one we are talking in terms yes Fine. Anything is there? Just you, you stop. Okay. We are talking. The first time we are using this IFRS five non-current assets held for sale. It is not safe. Held for sale and discontinued operations. Is it not? We the when the activity is discontinued during the period. Is that when the activity is discontinued? non current assets property plant and equipment very very clearly property plant and equipment held for sale if you are if you are identify that we are going to sell it again next 12 months is it you think we, the moment there is a decision it has to be sold in the next 12 months again there is a criteria is there how we have to different identify how what we have to be specifically 
with respect to discontinued operation. We will do this. We have IAS 8. Is that we have IAS 8. We talk about that accounting policy changes in estimates. You are changing, you are changing the depreciation, rate of the method of depreciation. What will happen? Method, method of depreciation. Is that we will say that from the beginning there should be consistency and once you have the consistency it will help us to make a comparison. Fine. But what will happen? There is no, there's no rigid fixed rule. There, there, there is a lot of flexibility will be there. Whenever you are changing method of depreciation, definitely what will happen? Your estimates will change. When you are talking in terms of IES 37 provisions, when you are changing the provisions, provisions is nothing but estimates will change. Is it? In this case, situation, what they say, we are talking about a provide useful information about financial performance and position. Means you have to make sure that you have be what we have done, they should be relevant, is that right? they should be relevant and they should be faithful. Is that right? you have to keep investors informed, is that right? about provides accounting investors requirements to enable investors to draw the adequate conclusions. Yeah, you have to keep them informed that then only the what will happen the uh, the investors will be in a position to take the decision. Now IES 34. See I am telling you this rarely rarely we, they will ask they will have the things on this rarely maybe somewhere if by the end of the uh, syllabus you will come across in two or three occasions but we cannot ignore that is it we cannot IES 34 the provides principles of the entity produces financial freedom for the period that is shorter than a full financial year see, see the things now if you have done taxation, is it right? If you have done taxation or or if you have established a company, okay, if you have established a company, assume that you have, see if you take into consideration, I'll write here only, we'll say that the financial year starts from 1st January to 31st December. Is it right? 1st January to 31st December. Now what happens? We are not saying that we everybody will start on 1st of January. Is that you are you you have the options? Is that if you have taken the taxation, if you have covered that, you should be uh, aware about this. Don't say that we got exemptions and we are not. We have to be aware about each and every aspect. Okay. Assume you, a company has started its business on 16th June. Is that I will be very clear. 2024. Is that right? 2024? Uh, okay, 16 June. Now, what happens? Definitely, they they will not complete the complete 12 months. Okay, they will not complete the complete 12 months. They what? If you take into consideration, you will say either you there is an option, either you take the next six months or you take the June month also. June month is also considered as a full month then you will say that this is going to be seven months. You have the option, either you can prepare the financial statements as on 31st December, or you have the option to, to prepare the financial statements on 31st December 2025. You have the option, you have to mention it very clearly that we are preparing. Most of the cases, what the companies will do, Companies will do that. They will prepare the financial statements on 31st December, taking the uh, taking with effective from 16th December, 16th June till 2024. If we are preparing the financial the first year of incorporation, subsequently we are not going to take this first year of incorporation. Is that which is shorter than the full financial year? Is that shorter than the full financial year? Then in that case, we're going to say that it is the IES 34, Interior Financial Statement. We will go into some more details the moment we will cover this 
the standards. Are you, are you, is it clear to you? We are talking in terms of IS1, we are talking uh, IS5, non-current assets held for sale, IS8, accounting policies changes, and subsequently IS34. So we will cover all, the, all these uh, standards later, right? Uh, we will cover introductory aspect here, subsequently applications in the following chapters. Here we will cover the introduction. Is that in this chapter? The, the inter, in this chapter, we are covering the core concepts of introduction. Subsequently, if you take into consideration, assume in property, plant, and equipment, in terms of provisions, when we are talking about in terms of leasing, in terms of foreign exchange, wherever it is possible, if it is related, if it is mentioned in the question, then we will apply the same rules in in that situation, particular situation, how it is going to be executed. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, see that with the exception of IES, I told you in the way, you will, you will have seen in the content of this chapter in, four, in your previous day. However, ACCSBR will test it at a much higher level. Is it? We, we, they will test you at a much higher level because uh, what we are, all these things have been done. Is it that all these things have been done in financial reporting? Is it that all these standards we have covered in financial reporting? Now, slowly and steadily. See, we you 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 have not covered this in this much detail. Okay, we have not covered this in this much detail. What is the IS one? According it it. It talks about a complete set of financial statements. You will have a statement of financial position, a yes. statement of financial position. You will have a statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive income. Is it? You have two different ways of presentation. Either you can present statement of profit and loss account and other comprehensive income or or with a, a or you can present a statement of profit and loss account in one case and a separate OCI in a other case link okay other case we don't say that we have to put in other ways the first the first option is I will give you the first option is you are talking in terms of sales you are talking in terms of profit for the year is right you are talking in terms of OCI and you are talking about OTCI okay the second option is, we are, will say that yes, this is the profit for the year, is it? And separately, we will say that statement of, I am writing in short, statement of other comprehensive income. Immediately, we will prepare. We are not saying that what is the other option which we have to prepare separately, no. Just below that, just after that, I will not say below that, after the profit and loss account, performance financial position performance we will prepare statement of other card. usually I am giving you the option also usually in all the cases consistently we have used the first option all the questions ex only inter when they are explaining they will ex they will show you the difference that's all but subsequently at all the later stages we are going to prepare the one statement only you have the changes on equity, you have the changes of cash flows, you have the account note, notes to the accounts and other reports, uh, other reports and statements in the annual report. Nowadays, people are very much concerned about what? Environmental reports. People are very much concerned about corporate governance report. Is it? Co corporate, social responsibility accounting. Is that social responsibility accounting? Write down the thing. Even if I am writing in in a short words, uh, I'm I'm explaining you. Have the notes with you. I will send you this file to you, but you should have your own notes. 
Is that you will have you will have all the things. Now coming back to this, first time I am telling you this. What is the concept of an asset? Is it that we we'll say that we we you used to identify what is an asset? Asset is what you own. What is a liability? Liability is what you owe. This is what we have that in my our mind. Mm -hmm. But when you are saying that an entity must classify an asset as current on the statement of financial position. What is the what is the concept of an asset? It is realized and con consumed during the normal trading cycle. We are talking about which type of asset specifically. Here they say as current. Okay, current asset. It is held for trading. It is held for trading. Next, it will be realized within 12 months of the reporting date. All other assets as classified as a non-current asset. Uh, so I have a question, please. Tell me. Um, some of the corporate clients they keep like um, FD or cash against um, facilities granted to them. So this uh, cash will be held for more than one year. So it should be classified as current assets or non current assets. If it is more than one year, then you will have, if it is somewhere related to investment, somewhere related to long term trading, then the conditions will apply. Okay, if it is for held for trading or it is held as a guarantee, then the conditions will apply. But when we say it is a, it is a current asset, in this case, is it right? When we are saying it is current, it is exclusively applied to inventories. It is exclusive applied to receivables. Is that it is exclusive? It is exclusively applied to the short term. I am giving you the example: short term marketable securities. Is that short term marketable securities? If it that's all. If it is there, you will have the received in advance. Okay, anything you have received, uh, 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 anything you have, uh, any prepayments. Is it only this? Is that we, the, when I am saying it very clearly, because see, when we, we, they will not go into a practically a customized situation. Okay, they will not tell you the practical customized situation that it will happen. They will give a broader understanding what are the current assets. Is it? Now, are you clear about this? Yeah. Now, why we are doing this? I will tell you this. Why we are talking about this? We are talking about at, at some point of time we have to identify the going concern. Is that, that that is the reason? That is the reason when we are saying it's a good next 12 months. Is that in other case we are talking in terms of IFRS 16 in terms of leasing? Very important. In another case, we are talking in terms of a I will give all the situations where it is happening. You will talk about the financial instruments, financial uh, liabilities. Okay, when you are talking about the things you will, you are what is happening, you will take a loan. Is that? You will take a loan for 10 years. Every year you have to identify how much loan we are going to pay in the next 12 months. If that is the case, we will take into consideration the next 12 months. What it says, that will come into at this stage. Is that we are, we are going to cover at this stage. That is what the current asset says. Keep it very clear, very clear in our mind. Current assets talks about inventory. In general, no customization. Inventory, receivables, short term marketable securities, prepayments, cash and bank. Anything which is outside this purview will be a non current asset. Are you clear about this? Yeah. Next. What yes. are the liabilities? See the thing. Liabilities are very simple. Same thing. What is what is the liability as a current? Current and non current liabilities. 
it is settled in a normal trading cycle. Normal trading cycle is nothing but in, in a normal financial year. Is that usually when we say it is a normal trading cycle, maximum periods, how, maximum days, how much you will get? You will get 90 days credit. Is it 90 days maximum? Nobody will give more than 90 days. It is, it is held for trading. Is it payables? Is it if when we are saying it is held for trading? It is payables. It is settled within 12 months at the reporting date. Is it? It will settle within 12 months of the report. Means 12 means next. This is very important clause. Very very important clause. It will be settled within 12 months of the means to when you are preparing the financial statement 31st December means it will be settled in the within the next 12 months. The entity does not have the right at reporting date to defer beyond 12 months. You don't have any other option that you are going to defer it beyond. You have to settle within 12 months. Classification is unaffected by the entity if you have a deferral right. Means we have to be very specific, very, very minute. Where I will say it's not only minute, it is very, very important. Is it? They will say that how much is the car when we are when we are doing the calculations, we have to identify this much is the current asset and uh, current asset. This is non-current asset. This much is going to be current liability and non-current liability. We will not have that much issues with respect to current asset assets. Okay, we will have issues very clearly when you are talking in terms of this. We have to be very clear how much is the current liability and how much is the non-current liability. Because what why it is very much concerned. I'm telling you this. You have doing it for three years. First year, second year, third year. Every time the closing balance will change, okay, by repayment all the things. Automatically what will happen, whatever the balance that is going to be reflected, this balance will change according to the next 12 months. Very interesting thing, we, I will, I, I will, we, and I will uh, explain you in detail as the situation will arise. Okay, this is what the top concept of assets and liabilities. Is it clear to you? Yeah. Fine. No. Yes. What is the what is the I'm I'm little bit slow here. Okay, I, I'm little bit slow in this chapter also. Once you once you understand the concepts, automatically you will be you will be faster than me. Fine. Now what they are saying? Read the things first. Read the. Code. Question requirement. So the treatment is correct. What is the treatment? They can uh, uh, present it in the financial statements as uh, an asset because they will hold it for more than one year. Which asset? Current asset or non-current asset? Non-current asset. We are talking about only one thing, whether it is a non-current asset or it is a current asset.
you have to be part of you have to be very smart okay so everything everything will not will not be part of the things is that you have to be very smart in terms of products in terms of which products they are selling what should what is the characteristics of the products everything you have to you use we have to use our iq also they say that see the thing they say that it requires uh, it has recently developed a new range of this that at the year end requires for the 15 months to fully mature is it fully is it it is not fully matured is it there 15 months to once matured thus it will be sold to the retailers that believe that juice new cheese should be classified as a non current asset So part of it will be as uh, current asset and the other part will, mat will, will be uh, matured within more than one year will be as not current asset? No. You, you see what they say, anything with related to trading, anything which related to trading is a current asset. Is it anything? Is it a property, plant and equipment? No. No. Next. It will be, see, the process takes 15 months. Is it that the process takes 15 months? Fine. Is that the process will take 15 months. But what they are saying, once matured, the cheese will be sold to the retailers. What is the one of the conditions they say it with respect to, with respect to the thing? It will be held for trading. Is that it will be held for trading? It is held for trading, is it right? It is, you are not using it for any other purpose. This is held for what? This is held for trading. Is it? it is, even you are not selling, see what will happen sometimes. Is it there? You take the things, you take uh, the cheese, processed cheese. Sometimes what will happen? I don't, I have not seen that. But sometimes you will have a packing date will be there. You will have packing date will be there. You have an expiry date will be there. Usually when you are talking about the processed goods, it will, it will be how many months maximum? Three months will be there. The manufacturing process will take 15 months. But the packing and expiry date will not be taken three months. Maximum you take nine months. You extend it maximum 12 months. Is that maximum 12 months? The processing time is to 15 months. But once matured, once matured, the cheese will be sold to retailers. Means the cheese will be used for which purpose? For trading purpose. <coughs> Are you clear about this? Doctor, can you repeat it, please? Yes. See what happens. See the thing. What they say mention here, they are saying that company manufacture ma and sell cheese. They are selling cheese. Means they are using it for which purpose? They are using cheese for a trading purpose. It has recently developed a new range of cheese at the year end. Requires for if you have a cheese, you will you will freeze it, you will process it. It will get matured by the time it will get ready for sale. Okay. It will get ready for sale for how many months? It will take 15 months to get ready for sale. Is that the thing? You will have, you will have raw materials. Is it right? You have a raw materials. You have a work in progress. Is that you have work in progress and you have a finished goods. Is it? This will be there under the category of what? This will be there under the category of inventory. Is it? You have the raw material. It is nothing but, 
See, from here to here, is it right? From here to here, it is taking how many months? It is taking almost, it will take 15 months. The moment it will take 15 months, it is ready to sell. Finished goods, okay? It will become a finished goods. It is ready to sell. When it is ready to sell, means it is for a trading purpose. It is for a trading purpose. What what the rule says? The rule says as an asset is it is realized or consumed. We are consuming the cheese during the normal trading cycle. It is held for trading. Is it? It is, will be released within 12 months at the reporting date. The moment it is ready, is it? When the moment it is processed. Means we are not talking about the backwards, is it? We are here. What is happening? We are not talking about the last 15 months, is it? We are talking in terms of we are putting very clear line here. You know, once it is complete, then what will happen? It will be used for trading purpose. Is it used for trading purpose? Once it is used for trading purpose. From how, how we have to classify in your financial statement, whether you should classify it for a, in a non-current assets or you have to classify on the current assets. Based on the characteristics, since it is going to be sold, sold means trading. Is that selling is nothing but trading. The cheese will be once matured, fine. They will not keep anything. Is that they have put? They have not said that the cheese will. Will, will be retained for 12 months, 15 months, not they say. The processing will take 15 months, but once it's ready, what we'll do? You will, you will dispatch it to the sell distributors, okay, selling people. Then automatically they will sell. If that is the case, what will happen? This, this, in this situation, cheese should be identified as a current asset. Current assets under the category of what? Under the category of inventory. So even if it will be held in the store for more than one year. Uh, have they mentioned anything on that? Have they mentioned anything on that? mentioned. If they mention, conditions will apply. If they not mention anything, it means it is for trading purpose. Not mentioned here 15 months. 15 That's months to months. process. Raw materials, work in progress, finish. Raw materials, work in progress. Till it becomes a finished goods ready to sell finished goods ready to sell see you have purchased raw materials you will process it you will complete the finish to the left this is what the process talks about is it right you are you are they are using raw materials is it right? you will have the fin work in progress you will have the finished goods how much time it is taking from here to here they are taking here to here 15 months is it once you complete think like that once you complete once it is ready for sale where you will what will be the next stage what will be the next stage you you once it is ready you will dispatch it is it that once you are ready you will dispatch it when you are dispatching it are you going to identify the non current asset or a current asset current asset why we are saying yes every time put a question that's very important put a question mark i will also put the question why because the moment once it is finished you will you will you will prepare to sell it selling is nothing but a power activity of trading is it okay yeah. Is it okay, Jehanna and Mariam? Yeah. Yes, thanks. Keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. That's all. Just focus. Listen the words carefully. You don't need revision. I'm telling you this. 
Listen my words. I'm not over confidently saying I'm giving you that assurance. Now, this is with respect to current statement of profit and OCI. IES provide the definition. These are the basic definitions. Okay. OCI and income recognized outside of profit and loss account. No, not normal course of business. Outside of profit and loss. That is the reason we will put one line here before we start OCI. Is it before we start pro profit for the year? We'll put and they say that OCI separately in bold letters we will write as required by particulars IFRS standard. TCI is the total of the entity profit and loss and OCI for the PIP. Total plus. Is that total or means plus? Okay. Now, fine. Now, what the conceptual st framework state the profit and loss account? See that the statement of profit is a primary source of information. That is the fine. What how you how much you are generating the profit from operations is very important. Is it I am say I am doing the business, but if I am selling some land that is not part of the business and I am showing the profit in that, I am saying that this is the profit. It is a one-time profit and it is not an operating profit. Sometimes there is a loss. When I sold one land, loss is there. Buildings, assets are there. I sold in non-current assets. Loss is there. I will show it in the profits. No, it will. It is. It is not. Uh, advisable not acceptable okay not advisable not acceptable that we have to show that's why I say it is a primary source of information income and expenses should be normally income and expenses should normally be recognized when developing the standards board is that this is this is more this is relevant for us the board note that it decides certain expenses should be present in OC, other comprehensive income. Is that when we are making a remeasuring an item, when you are revaluation, is that to the what to the current value? Profit and loss provides more relevant information. It provides faithful representation of performance. Is that this is a normal income and expenses. That's all. We have to put the full stop there. Whereas OCI is classified in two groups. Is that OCI is that classified into fine? It will be classified to profit in subsequent. What will happen? Any foreign exchange gains or losses on transactions. IES 31. We will cover this at a later stage. See what will happen. You will have foreign currency. Definitely, they, every day there will be a fluctuation in foreign currency. You will have gains and losses. If you if you take your own bal balance sheet of your own firm, okay, you take your own bank balance sheet. What will happen? You will have on in the equity foreign currency. Is that foreign currency revaluation? Revaluation reserve will be there. You check once class is over, okay? In the state, in the equity statement of changes in equity, foreign currency revaluation reserve. We are going. This is not part. This is separately. This is not part of the income of the bank. Fluctuations in the currency, effective parts of cash flow hedging arrangements. Is that IFRS nine? It is financial instruments. Is a financial instrument stock markets? Okay, stock shares will be there. Is that you are you are talk part of the hedging? Is that I'm just giving you a, a, a introductory actually. I'm not talking about one when we are starting IFRS nine. We'll cover this about hedging, remeasurement of investment in debt instruments that are classified as fair value. Now by that this time you have. You have a, a a complete view about this. Anything outside, anything outside, outside the framework, outside the framework of operate operations. 
normal yet operations means trading is it right operations means trading anything or should be we have to show it in where we have to show it in oci okay very simple don't i'm not, I, when i'm saying it's simple it's it's very easy to understand don't get panic that what is something oci no the only thing what i am giving you importance is i am making it very clear at this stage because this will be repeated in our examination at least in two questions i have a question please tell me when it comes to revaluation of uh, property plant and equipment it will be under other comprehensive income but if they sold the property and they got much profit it will mm -hmm. be in profit understatement right if there is no relation to revaluation then it will be in profit and loss yes yes yeah. if there yeah, is, a there is no re uh, relation to the revaluation the revaluation there is a separate treatment will be there yes for the valuation you are aware of that but for the profit and loss from selling property plant and equipment yes so it means statement profit yes, and loss because be there state. is actual yeah because there is actual cash received by yes. the company right yes can i add some, can i add something else on this yeah in the see in all the i am telling you what we have done is it right in what they will do they will have so many different assets okay they have they have they will give us one asset has been revalued one asset has been revalued and what they have done revaluation first year second year and this asset has been sold they will not give a straight open ended question to us okay they say that is the one asset has been revalued first year second year they have some revaluation reserve and subsequently that asset asset has been sold if that is the case how you will give a accounting treatment is it right straight away what what we have done in our uh, previous studies we have said that yes asset has been sold there is some profit there is some loss is it is a whatever the situation you are saying that situation will come across somewhere in cash flow statement is it okay yeah right interesting things you will have lot of lot of lot of things you will come across see the thing what you are asking it has been mentioned here okay item that that will not be reclassified to profit and loss account in subsequent period changes in revaluation surplus property plan and equipment is 38 intangible assets is it the intangible assets remeasurement component definite this is employee benefits okay is it right we are talking in terms of employee benefits they will give one question on this employee benefits for 8 to 10 marks okay remeasurement of change, i told you financial instrument investment in equity instruments that are classified as a fair value anything changes will happen see that is okay anything what we have to do we have to take it through whom we have to channelize it through oci it means how it has to be done with respect to property plant and equipment intangible assets employee benefits and equity in the equity share in the in the share market it has a equity instruments is it now little bit little bit we are focusing only on oci okay they are focusing only on how the other comprehensive income is part of the uh, our calculations is that what is the they, they gave you the example okay keep it in mind see the things is that they gave you the example according to the framework income and expenditure according to the conceptual framework income and expenditure included in oci should be reclassified to profit and loss account when doing so 
results in profit and loss account should have more see loss providing more relevant information they will they will, they will give this what are the situations where we have to classify in a uh, profit and loss account or it has to be classified in a other comprehensive income fine the board decide that reclassification is not appropriate if no clear basis for and if there is no clear information we are not supposed to do anything is it is one requires entity to disclose income tax relating to each component of oci see the thing another one okay you you have done fair value okay you have done revaluation is it you have done fair value revaluation is it you have done fair remember this i will i will again i will i am going to again touch this concept somewhere in lecture 7 okay revaluation you have done revaluation when the you have done revaluation assume the value is 20000 okay this is nothing but the carrying amount okay carrying amount i will give this definition in the next lecture okay carrying amount when you do the revaluation what will happen the value of the asset is going to be how much the revaluation will be 30000 the value has been increased by how much the value has been increased by 10000 on these 10000s we have to pay tax okay we have to pay tax okay a small summary i am giving this much is it right they in the examination they will give you only this much and the, this will constitute how many marks this will constitute two marks this adjustment in one full question a adjustment will be like this is it they they have a carrying amount they have made the revaluation the value has been increased to 30000 10000 is the revaluation gain and on revaluation gain you have to calculate the profit i what it says it says the same thing is requires an entity to disclose income tax relating is that income tax relating to the each component of each component of oci disclosing each component of oci net any tax effect okay any tax is having its impact you have to disclose disclose oci before rela before related tax effects with am am one amount shown as a tax means we will show we have to disclose how much we have calculated tax on the revaluation entities prepare one combined statement find one combined statement of profit and loss account and oci they will not prepare separate statement that's why i told you alternately can they can prepare two statements are you clear about this yes fine now nothing is there see what we have done and what see only thing is we 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 have to put a little bit little bit more effort is that we are here actually is that we have here actually in sbr we have to put little bit more effort if if we have done a far now it will be a piece of cake for us the only thing is this all things has been done in fr okay now see that thing how what is the format you have other operating income okay other operating income distribution administration cost other operating expenses fine finance cost share of profits of associates we we'll, will do this in the when we are doing the group accounts okay we are when we are doing the group accounts profit before tax income tax expenses profit for the year okay next so once we are doing profit for the year we will what we'll do we'll show it separately is it will not be will not be re, will not be reclassified to profit and loss account what are the thing any changes in revaluation surplus any remeasurement gain okay any change this is what in terms of is is 16 and is 38 this is with respect to is 19 is right this is with respect to ifrs 9 is right this is with respect to is 12 
you know, changes in revaluation surplus. Anything happens, okay? Format is there. While doing this, we'll, they will give one or two maximum, okay? They will give, but they will give one or two what is happening to the property, plan, document, anything else, okay? Items that may be reclassified subsequent to profit and loss account, is it? Just I'm holding this out. Right now I'm not doing this, okay? You are talking about any cash flow hedges. If you are doing any hedging, in that we are having any profits and loss account. Exchange differences in translating foreign operations. Is that for if you have a foreign operation, then we have to come, we have to consolidate it into one currency. Is that we have to consolidate into one currency. Translation exposure. Is that we'll come across something called as a translation exposure. Yeah, trans translation of what, two different, you are having in dollars, you are having in euros, you are having in, in rias. Then what will happen? Ultimately, you will have one consolidated statement. Then there will be some plus or minus income tax related to the items to be reclassified. Fine, we have to deduct it. Then you will have a total comprehensive income net of tax for the year. Is right. This they have given. See the thing. This they have given. This is the format included in group accounts. Right now, right now, don't touch this. Okay. We are going to touch this in chapters 18. Okay. We will cover this somewhere in chapter 18. I think. Is that right? in term when we are talking in terms of a group accounts. In normal situation, we are not supposed only exclusively when we are covering doing the group accounts, we will cover this aspect. Is it clear? Once class is over, at the end by the end of the day, okay, revise. Now we started one week is over almost. When you are doing this after the class, 30 minutes. I'm not asking more than that. 30 to 40, 45 minutes. Just revise what we have done. Okay, this is the first thing. Next, you have a change statement of changes in equity. They say that the requires all changes in equity arising from transactions should be presented separately. This would include issue of shares, dividends, a comparative statement. We again we are talking about the two years opening balance and closing balance. Okay, we are talking about the opening balance and closing balance. See, we have a capital. Retain earnings, transactions of foreign operations, translation of foreign operations, financial assets through OCI, any cash flow hedges, revaluation surplus, and the total. Is it? This is the opening balance. Okay. This is the opening balance, and this is the closing balance. Yeah, this is the opening balance. Any dividends, issue of equity share, TCI, transfer to retain earnings. This is the thing. Again, this we are we are doing is that we are doing for the first time. Okay. This much in detail. Is right? This much in detail. Again, I, I, I just I will I will not skip, but I will cover this. This is nothing but again they are talking in terms of a group accounts. Is it right? They are talking in terms of non-controlling interest is nothing but the uh, portion of amount related to a subsidiary company. Anything related to group accounts I will mention but I will not explain. Okay, I will mention so that they should have a clarity that we are doing, we are NCI. Is that we usually use the word NCI, non-controlling interest. Non-controlling interest is nothing but the interest of the minority. Okay, subsidiary company, minority, smaller company. Okay, that we will cover in group accounts. Fine. The conceptual says that financial statements are prepared on the assumption that reporting entity for the foreseeable future. Means foreseeable future is it will be for a longer period, but immediately next 12 months after reporting date.
highest one stage the should assess whether the company is a going concern is that you have to assess whether it is a going concern assumption is approved as an auditor also we have done in auditing as a auditor also auditor has to give that in in a part of the report that the company is a going concern here management should also assess management should assess that the company is a going for the next 12 months then only we will say that we are preparing the accounts as per is 1 management should take into consideration all available information for within at least 12 months of the reporting period somewhere see we you keep it in mind somewhere it will be it will be accounted for two marks in the complete question paper somewhere we need to mention this okay what are the indicators of uncertainty what are the thing that you have shortage of cash okay you have increase you have lot of overdrafts is it right or short term borrowings you you have major debt payments up you have to pay next 12 months your payables are increasing okay you are payable when you are doing see again i am saying when you is it when you are talking in terms of ratio analysis when we are talking taking the ratio analysis your payables pay, pay, pay days are increasing we have to mention in our comment that it is a going concern going going concern uh concern is there okay increased level of gearing you are taken lot of loans is it right long term loans negative cash flow from operating activities again keep it in mind cash flow see all complete you will have a a detailed revision as well as a four side thinking also understanding also you have in the cash flow statement okay in the cash flow you will have three things one is operating one is uh, investing one is investing one is uh, financing okay whenever in the operating activities you should have a cash inflow positive is that you should have investing you may have negative financing you may have positive or negative fine but related to the related to the uh, related to the uh, operating activities always we should have a positive there should be a cash inflow should be there if it is an uh, negative cash flows cash outflows it is a going concern issue disclosure or provisions related to any legal claims are there legal cases are there is it right? any claim provisions are there fine large impairment losses is it large impairment losses any idea about which standard we are going to talk about impairment any idea about this i is not one at personal no which standard i is yes i is 16 i is 13 ha what i is which standard is that yes i is 36 okay is 36 impairment okay we will cover this okay and another a very very com comprehensive uh, understanding with believe this is it these are the concerns i am saying this you should not memorize it you should understand it. there is no memorization here is it there is no memorization here but if they ask anything interpretation we have to mention based on the situation based on the scenario we have to mention these condition these are the going concern issue indicators these are these are the going concern uncertainty indicators where there is uncertainty 
the management should consider all available information for future including current and expected profitability we are talking about the debt repayment what are the what are the potential sources of artificial alternative finance is it right? means you have to be be very as a manager you have to be oversee all these activities once the management assess there is no material uncertainties in the foreseeable future the financial statement should be prepared on the assumption that the entity will continue in other words the financial statements will be prepared on a going concern basis Either every if we think that these are the things that has not been there the other the i will put the numbers also okay i will put the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 if these five eight uncertainties are not identified or not noticed then in that the case the financial management management can prepare the financial statements financial statements based on the going concern con basis read this one okay this is also important slowly and steady accrual basis you know is that when they occur not when the cash is paid okay accrual basis is as is that accrual basis is when they occur not when the cash that is what it say what is the examples of accrual basis can you tell me anyone what i think you have a network issue we didn't hear anything anything what are the examples of accrual basis any any receivable pardon receivables receivables next next papers anything else more specific papers more specific more specific you have rent so when they say you have rent on salaries is it right if you have paid in advance paid in advance what you will do you will minus it okay paid in advance you will minus it and you will show it as a current asset if you have not paid okay if you have not paid you what you will do add outstanding and you will show it as a current liabilities is it you will show it as a current liabilities something paid in advance something outstanding is it right is it okay about this yeah fine right? the is it consistency in presentation fine right? uh the class where fana should be retained for means you should be consistent from one period to another period it, it, it is clear that a change will result in more appropriate preserved change is required by ifrs or is see if it is it is compulsion you can we can we are saying we will say that there should be consistency but consistency is not a rigidity is it not if is it not a hard and fast rule sometimes what will happen uh, when there is a possibility that you can change but whenever you are changing is it right whenever you are we are changing the method is it right? you have to give the, the justification you have to give the justification or you have to give a reason why we are changing what is the concept of material 
if if it is see the, this is the advantage you will have is it right when you have we are not deviating anything this is the advantage you will have when you are talking about the auditing you know you anything omitting misstating or you are misrepresentation of the uh, amount it will influence economic decisions in the financial statement material judgment should be based on quantitative and qualitative factors the same materiality what we have done in auditing it will be continued you know when assessing materiality the entity should consider the characteristics of financial statements see that thing. to aid the understanding is that we should not club anything see examination also i'm very particular don't say that i will if there is something two items are there i will add okay i will add or i will deduct no all the items should be shown separately all the workings i'm talking in terms of working whenever we are doing workings never never club two workings two amounts in one place is it right <coughs> financial statement should show material classes separately immaterial items may be aggregated with amounts with similar nature as long it does not reduce understand immaterial items what are the immaterial items we have done this other other operating income is that other operating income in the in the previous in the previous case we have done other operating income is that when we say it is other operating income uh, or we we have said what are what we have that it has been said other operating expenses other operating income or other operating expenses comes under the category of immaterial items mm -hmm. means similar items with smaller in nature which is smaller in value which is not uh, occurred mm -hmm. uh, on a regular basis those mm -hmm. items we can club but usual can be, may be aggregated with amounts of similar in nature mm -hmm. IS one state that assets and liabilities incurred should only be offset when it is permitted what does it mean offsetting any idea any idea about offsetting right or wrong don't worry about that i am here to help you yes or no no fine see what happens usually is that you will have sales you will have purchases you are going to have from only one client you should not you should not take the net amount okay you should not take the difference you have to show sales separately you have to show purchase separately you have taken a loan is it you have given an advance you have taken a loan you have taken given an advance loan should be shown separately advance should be shown separately unless it is permitted where it is permitted i will tell you that also it is permitted in where it is permitted in ifrs 3 business combinations while while preparing while preparing the group accounts only to the group accounts it is permissible is that right? it is applicable i can say like that in other cases it is not applicable fine that that is the reason we should not have any offsetting we have, that is a so i told you every item should be shown separately comparative statements will be disclosed we always we, we are talking about two different years is it clear to you yeah are you understanding what's happening yes fine now now uh, i'm not taking that much time here okay disclosure whatever is there you have to disclose giving what are the most relevant areas is it right? grouping items measured in similar way such as assets held at fair value 
Is it? We have to following in the order, following the order in which items are presented in the statement of profit and loss account. We have to follow the sequence order. Okay. We have to comply with the IFRS standards explicitly. Is that entity should make an explicit and unreserved statement that we are we are preparing the financial statements as per IFRS. The moment we start, we have to mention that we are preparing as per IAS and IFRS. Hundred percent in the notes to the accounts. In the notes to the account, the first paragraph is related to this. Any company which is listed in the stock exchange. Is that accounting policies must produce policies disclosure notes summary of that in details. Accounting policies are likely to be material. If it is, means it is definitely uh, policy of valuation, policy of inventory, policy of provisions. Is it right? If that is the reason, in all the cases, what we are doing, either we will give the reference of IAS or we are giving the reference of IFRS. We have to choose the accounting policy from one or more options. Okay, depreciation. Which policy we are using? The accounting policies relates to the area where there is a significant judgments are required. Any we are we want to make any judgments, then we have to give reference to the policy. The is the accounting treatment of a transaction. If it is complex, we have to disclose it. The disclosure is is very important whenever we are we are covering the concepts of an accounting policy. Fine. Are you clear about this? Yeah. Now we are doing another one. Very important. Very very important. IFRS revenue from contract with customers. Previous to this, is it right? We used to have IAS 18. You remember? Anyone? No. Previously, we have IAS 18 revenue. Now they have they have replaced this with IFRS 15. Okay, IFRS 15. This will be a compulsory one. This concept will be. Will be assessed in the examination. Okay, we will cover this. Is that uh, contain two performance obligations? What are the two? The to provide the customer with a test book, revenue is recognized at the point of time. See the thing. To provide the customer with a test book, you are giving, you are selling it there with the test book. You are selling the test book. Automatically, what will happen when there is exchange of the when there is exchange of the monetary value and the material? Is it? Then we will recognize it as a revenue. To to provide customer with five days of lectures, revenue is recognized over time. Is it right? What what is the five days of lecture? See the thing. The first option is you are selling a test book. Fine. Now you are giving a course. Is right? You are giving a course for how many days? You are giving a course for five days, and you are saying that you are giving charging how much? Hundred dollars. Then what will happen? You are not going to say every day how much you are going to earn. Revenue is every day. The revenue is twenty each. Is it? This is nothing but this is nothing but a concept of what a performance of performance obligation. Again, I will repeat this. I am selling a test book. One the one time transaction. You are buying a phone. You are giving phone and you are taking you are you are taking the product. Okay, you are taking paying money and you are taking the product. Fine, done. Second option. Second option, you are doing a rent a car business. You are doing a rent a car business. It's similar, so that I am giving example where you can understand very easily. Is it? You are giving a rent a for five days. How much is there? Hundred dollars. Every day, what is the revenue we are earning? We are earning twenty. 
maybe why we are saying this is the revenue is earned based on what based on the performance maybe after two year, three days he will return it you have to give him back okay this is what it says when you are talking about the ifrs1 i am telling you little bit little bit in advance but remember this you have five steps okay you have five steps we we'll cover in next or after next chapter okay you have contract obligation performance allocation and recognition okay you have five steps we call it as a co part fine Re this is very important with respect to ifrs 50 distinction must decide here we are just talk about introduction okay the whether to disclose the uh, policy the following factors suggest that disclosure is not required distinction must decide whether to disclose the above accounting policy whether we should disclose or not these factors following factors what are the revenue recognition policy was not changed and the policy is not changed you should not disclose the policy was not chosen from alternatives you should not disclose the transaction which in question was covered by ifrs we should not miss if there is a consistency we should not disclose where but relate to the area where judgment is required such transaction price for the performance obligation with respect to the control of the test means they are saying that any 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 what how can say any terms and conditions is attached okay any terms and conditions are attached now what are the terms and conditions be very clear on this also they will say when you are buying a product is it right they say that you the uh, when you are buying a product uh, is it right they will mention at the bottom of the invoice is it right what they will mention goods once sold will be exchanged is it right will be exchanged but uh, cash will not be given is it right but no but no refunding of cash refunding of cash again they will say this condition is applied for within how many days 7 days months goods once sold will be exchanged but will not they will not it happens every time you are buying a product you are not satisfied within 7 days you can go back and say that i want to exchange they will get they will say that okay exchange is permissible but they will not pay you cash this is nothing but once a transaction is done it is done is it this much we have to be very clear about that they say distinction so in this case tell me please so in this case they have to recognize the revenue after the 7 days on the right at the time of transaction how you will recognize 7 days Are you returning? After seven days. Immediately, mm -hmm. once transaction is done. Pardon? What do you mean by after the transaction is done? You mean after the se passing seven days or what? No, you are purchasing on fifth of. You purchased on fifth of August. You have the time till twelfth of August. Only for what? Only for exchange. Fine. Only for. transaction happened here you received cash done transaction is complete transaction is complete you are not going to refund cash you are only making an exchange yeah. so if there is a refund they have to recognize the revenue after passing 7 days right after passing 7 days but that will not happen okay very if happens again i will say if if happens if it is there definitely they will they will mention in it in the question everything will be clear that what are the terms and conditions
Is it? What are terms and conditions? I will give you the things. I will, I will, I will make things more clear for you. You are buying a product. Okay, you are buying a product. They will give you a warranty. <laughs> Is it? They are buying a product. You are giving. Usually, what will happen? They give a warranty for one year. Now, customers are very, very. Some customers are very specific. Okay, they will say that we want a extended warranty. Is it? We want a extended warranty. For that, they will pay you extra money. Okay, they will pay you some money. Ex you, we have to pay some money, money extra for it. But what will happen? This year revenue will be shown in this year. Next year revenue will be shown in next year. We cannot show next year revenue in this year. This is the message what they want to communicate. Next year income we should not show this year. Next year income is next year. Next year expenses will be next year. Is it okay? Yeah. Is it? Very, these small, small things. Uh, uh, see, small. Uh, before I'm going for the next, where it is applicable, I'm telling you now only. By the time we will cover that, you will have a complete clarity. You don't need any, any further uh, explanation at that point of time. Okay. Now, this is what it says. For example, understanding. That some revenue, see, this is the under for example, some revenue is recognized at a point of time, and some is recognized over time. Will help users to understand how revenue is relates to a historical and future cash flow. Is that some revenue is belong should be recognized now? Some revenue belongs to the. Why we are talking about this? Why we are discussing about this is. We should not mislead the investors. We should not mislead the users. Otherwise, what will happen? This year income we are showing more. Next year income we are showing less. Okay. This this is why we are talking about the revenue. Keep it in mind. We will we will do very interesting things. We will learn so many interesting things in when we cover IFRS 50. Okay. Exclusively one chapter is there on that. An entity should disclose information about the financial uh, key sources of estimation. Any uncertainty is there? See what will happen. You will have. You will you will mention in your annual report risk factors. Is that you will mention in your annual report risk factors? Means risk factors is nothing but sources of uncertainty. Is that we will mention in our annual report any assumptions about the future also? Is that reclassification adjustments are recycled from any reclassification is there from OCI to profit and loss account or profit and loss account OCI? We will make with justification, with reasoning. We have to do. IS one requires that reclassification as any reclassification we are doing, it has to be disclosed. So many times you just im imagine, just imagine if you take from chapter one till now, at least we have used the word disclosure at least not less than hundred times. <coughs> okay, the the rule says that whatever we are doing. Whatever we are making presentation, that has to be disclosed, either in the profit and loss account or OCI. People, we, people will criticize. Yeah, we are not. See, this is not tested. Okay, people will criticize that many ignore OCI since gains and losses reported are not related to the cash flows. Is that most of the people say that why we are using OCI? The material expenses present in OCI may not be given attention. People are not saying. People will not give users. I will not say people. Users will not give importance to OCI. Okay, OCI are fine. That that we just yes, we have to understand this. Reclassification is done with respect to the changing from one place to another place. It will what they say. It will contradict the definition of income and expenses.
right? it will contradict the definition of income and expenses. Are you clear about this? What we have done, what we have done till now, we have done with respect to the uh, with respect to the going concern and the uh, where we OCI. OCI, IS1 only we have done, okay? We have done exclusively on uh, other comprehensive income, going concern, and the disclosures. Are you clear about this? Yeah. Fine? We'll complete this and we'll stop, okay? It is also a very major part. I, only IFRS 5 we will cover. Test your understanding 2 we will do and we'll stop, okay? Now, coming back to this. Coming back to this. IES 5. Now, this is the... See, now you are uh, really understanding the standards, how it is will be there. Very slowly, take your time, revise it. IFRS 5 held for discontinued says that discontinued operation is a one of the component of entity that has been sold. And either it has been sold or it is held for sale. Is it held for? What I told you in the beginning, I told you. A company will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, a company will have five different divisions. You are going to sell a separate line of business. You, know, you are selling a separate line of business. You, know, you are selling, see company will have a different lines of businesses. You are selling a separate line of business. Is that again? I'm saying, held for sale. It is a component of entity that has been sold or held for sale. Again, we are not covering the standards. We are going to apply the rules. Okay. Now, what it says that it is. What are the conditions? It is a separate line of business, either in terms of operations or in terms of location. You have. In UAE you have, in, in Australia you have, in Asia you have, in separate countries other. You are winding up the business in one of the locations. Okay, you are winding up the lo or lo business in one of the locations. That is a separate line. A part of plan to dispose a separate line of business. A part of plan you are making that you have to sell it off. A subsidiary acquired solely for the purpose of resale. We have to, I will say, you have to memorize this. First time I am writing this. It is not understanding and memorizing. It is a separate line of business. It is a plan to dispose of and it is a subsidy. You are acquiring a subsidiary. What is the intention? Intention is to sell. Okay. An operation is held for sale if the carrying amount will not be recovered by its use. A operation is held for sale. What is the carrying amount? Any idea about carrying amount? What is the formula for carrying amount? Tell me if you have any idea. No. Any idea about this, Mariam? No. You have, take example, property, plant and equipment. You have the cost. Cost is going to be how much? 10,000. You will calculate depreciation. You calculate depreciation of 2,000. Cost minus depreciation is carrying amount. Or cost minus accumulated depreciation.
he is a carry member one definition only definition because why i am explaining you now in in last when just 10 minutes before we have done carrying amount i remember i have not explained at that point of time okay what is the carrying amount carrying amount is nothing but the cost minus depreciation or the cost minus accumulated depreciation is it right? and it will not change understand the point it will not change the rule will remain same fine to be classified held for sale okay at the reporting date what is the what are the what is the when we say it is a, a held for sale the operation is available for sale immediately you you know you see, i will give an example in so many buildings okay in so many buildings they will, they will they will put something like that for sale it is not there now but in it has been not uh, permissible now but when people were there on the vehicles cars okay they will say that it is for sale when they say it is for sale on the buildings they will put for sale is it right for sale on online platforms i am giving all the things online platforms is right online business platforms they will say that on sale what are the conditions it will be available immediately first thing the sale is probable and it will be completed within one year second point one year means next 12 months third point management is committed to sale once you are putting the for sale you have to do there is no term coming back the operation you have to do a good marketing for that you have to do good marketing for that the operation is offered for sale at a reasonable price mostly current fair value i will ask you these things again and we will repeat n number of times okay we will repeat n number of times it is unlikely that the plan will be withdrawn if these conditions are followed that is the reason i told you in the beginning every standard will have a criteria every standard simple way of understanding what is the criteria for ifrs 5 it has to be sold immediately in current condition the sale is probable within one year management commitment is there it has to be marketed it has to be a reasonable price and most importantly you cannot take back your decision any doubts okay fine now that's what is there okay criteria is important what it says how you have to make presentation okay we will here we are learning theory we are learning the comp, uh, process in the next stage we will do the application the required information discontinued operation what we have to do we have to mention as a single amount should be presented in the statement of profit and loss account comprised of the total of post tax profit or loss separately we will do one question on this is that separately post tax profit or loss of this kind post tax is after tax profit the post tax gain on loss to fair value less cost to sell or disposable of current operate discontinued operation fair value less cost to sell is it right fair value less cost to sell this is nothing but what this is nothing but your realizable value is it right you have to mention 
separately in the total of, total of post tax profit or loss separately and you have to show it fair value less cost to sell is it this is this is the steps we have to mention a single amount provided on the statement of profit and loss account or in the notes to the financial if the decision to sell an operation is taken off a, after the year end but before the accounts are approved you have to mention it as a non adjusting event is right if it is the decision is taken after the year end but it is not approved you have to mention in a non adjusting event because it does not qualified as a discontinued in a comparative figures the operations will be shown the in the comparative figure the operations are also shown as a discontinued is it okay means in simple words we have to in simple words what what i will tell you that we have to show it as a separately yeah i think uh, they have mentioned no they have not mentioned it. fine okay test your understanding too is there see the things now here till here we have one segment and here we have a another segment okay here we have a another segment profit for a from a for the discontinued operation should be should be shown separately as a single amount as a single amount they will they have done working for this separately is it right? they have done working separately here is it right? they have not mentioned working but they have, they we have to do separate working and we have to show it as a what we have to show it as a single amount is it clear to you Yes. Okay. Little bit. We so have. Yes. 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 Yes
first any one one of you both of you take two things first second for third fourth what is your decision sub tell me separately juhana separate take take juhana take 1 and 3 mariam take 2 and 4 if you have taken the print out if you have taken the see i will give you the source also if you have taken the print out based on these six points 1 2 3 4 5 6 <laughs> is right if the criteria is they are meeting the criteria fine if they are not meeting the criteria it's not fine okay based on these six points we have to decide <laughs> tell me okay is it correct which one the point number 1 point number 1 is it meets the definition as they sell it immediately yeah and the second one second uh, even one, that one more towards third one third one i'm oh, sorry okay third listen one minute two things are there okay i am i am sure i will tell you that the way short smart way of working first you have to read the question second and most important thing you have to mention identify the date very important in in sb anything date is the portion group of companies has a financial year end of how much they have a financial year end of how much 30th june very important this is the reporting date okay two things are there read the question examination also every question follow these rules the 30th june 2004 okay they have first concept is they have done it when first First January two thousand four, within twelve months. This is a discontinued operations. You have to give reasons. Okay, we have to give reasons, supporting with reasons. Yes, next, Mariam. So it meets the criteria because the announcement was made, John. Hmm. 2024 yeah they made made that there was a advance negotiation to sell and subject to regular approval this is expected to be completed by how much
this is expected to be completed by how much it is going to be expected to be completed by august next 12 months is it right next 12 months fine now intentions are very clear committed to sell is that they are they are very much committed to sell is it they are very much committed to sell announcement that meant that they will be unwound or to sell subsidy subject to they are expected to be completed by they, they are committed to sell with this this is also going to be called as a discontinued operations next johanna got confused of this but uh I think it meets the definition oh, because yes. of the Phoenix uh, actively market. The board has decided to sell. They have decided, okay, to sell the okay. subsidiary. Agents have been appointed to find suitable, but, but they find anyone? No. They find anyone? No. The agent no. advises that potential buy buyers are deterred by the expense. Price is negotiable, reasonable price. No. Price is reasonable. Price is not reasonable. No. Is, it, is it right? Price is not reasonable. Next, they find people. They find buyers. No. Is that they find buyers? They didn't find buyers. Okay. They didn't find buyers, and price is also not negotiable. If it is there. Then what we have to say? It is a discontinued operation or not? Not. Yep. Not. See, you can score very good marks here. I'm telling you this. This paper, exceptionally, this not difficult paper. This only thing is, you should understand the rule. That's all. Next, tell me the fourth one. Does it mean? Because the announcement was uh, for sale. An announcement was made that another subsidy was for sale. It was sold when it was sold on 30th September, 10, sorry, 10th September 2004. It is discontinued or not discontinued? No, it doesn't meet the criteria. What are the why, Can you tell me one or two? Because the announcement was made uh, post year end. Yes, is it right? Announce it 10th July. Is it right? See, that is the thing. They have made announcement when. They have, this is this is the 30th June, is it right? 30th June 2004. They made announcement when they made announcement on 10th of July. Is it right? 10th of July. They made they made an announcement. Is it right? Uh, the, by 30th June, it is a, it, they, they, it is not, the, it is uh, uh, 30th June, till 30th June, they have done made an announcement, they have made the announcement after 30th June, is it right? It is not a discontinued operation. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Are you clear about this? See, now you understand. See, where where there is, e I will tell you the easiest way of working. I will tell you only the techniques, smart way of working. You follow the rules, criteria, criteria is very important. 
based on the criteria they we have to do everything is it right fine can i stop now yeah. yes